Martin by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett. When I am tired of earnest men, intense and keen and sharp and clever, pursuing fame with brush or pen or counting metal discs forever, then from the halls of shadow land beyond the trackless purple sea old martin's ghost comes back to stand beside my desk and talk to me still on his delicate pale face a quizzical thin smile is showing his cheeks are wrinkled like fine lace his kind blue eyes are gay and glowing he wears a brilliant hued cravat a suit to match his soft gray hair a rakish stick a knowing hat a manner blithe and debonair. How good that he who always knew that being lovely was a duty should have gold halls to wander through and should himself inhabit beauty. How like his old unselfish way to leave those halls of splendid mirth and comfort those condemned to stay upon the bleak and somber earth. Some people ask, what cruel chance made Martin's life so sad a story? Martin? Why, he exhaled romance and wore an overcoat of glory. A fleck of sunlight in the street, a horse, a book, a girl who smiled. Such visions made each moment sweet for this receptive, ancient child. Because it was old Martin's lot to be, not make a decoration, shall we then scorn him, having not his genius of appreciation? Rich joy and love he got and gave. His heart was merry as his dress. Pile laurel wreaths upon his grave, Who did not gain, but was, success. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.